Hi, my name is Peach, and today I'll be talking about what spline graphs I use for movements in my edits. And to sum it up for you, my transitions, I use ease in and ease out graphs, but for my other movement, whether it be for 3D camera movement, zoom ins on scenes, or doing 2D typography, the graphs I use are S graphs. S graphs are when your graph looks like this. At the first keyframe, the graph starts out flat, then in the middle, it starts to rise up, where the graph becomes more vertical, and at the end, it flattens out again, and now it gives us our S shape. This graph allows you to make nice, smooth movements for whatever you're doing. Let me show you. We're gonna do this fake zoom with the Twixter, so we're gonna hit two beats on our song. So the way we do that, first gonna retime the twix and then we'll show you how to do the zoom so right here we know our clip is gonna be two seconds just like that and we want our clip to be looking up at the halfway point so i have my clips cut out like this each frame is different if you don't know how to twix i'll leave a link to my twixer tutorial so you can learn how to do that because once you've watched that you know where i am in this process and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a time stretcher node beginning we have our source there let's see our source time we have is at 27 so our end is gonna be at 27 so let's bring that out like this if we look at it, we see that the clip is stretched all the way here. And then we're going to go towards the middle, which is going to be at 24 frames. And then we're going to keyframe at the middle. And you're going to be at the part where she starts to look up. So around there. So it's going to be like 11 frames right there. And then we're going to open up our spline graph just like this. Look at our source time. And then just make our curve something like this. So the way that I do this is that I make a curve like this and I make a curve like this. But since the middle is exactly where we need to sync it, what we're gonna do is move these keyframes over and this is gonna make our S graph just like this. It's an S graph because you can see this makes kind of like an S shape. So let's bring this over about like three frames and let's uh, readjust our time. So the steepest part of our spline graph will be uh, over the 24 frame mark, so just like this. And now or something like that and so now she'll look up right when it hits that point and then if we want to make this smoother we can bring this down like this and so we have the an angle and then we can add our optical flow and then change this to flow clamp our edges and then we can play this back all right just like that we have our clip we can smooth out the splines so it's not so rigid when we fix it so we can make this even more like this and that should be good and let's go to our timeline and then now we're going to do the zoom in so generally if we're going to do a fake zoom we're going to zoom out zoom in and then zoom out again let's do this all right, here I'm gonna add a transform node. Let's do our zoom out. So let's go to the beginning keyframe and let's go somewhere like 28 frames. And then keyframe again, let's go to the original keyframe by hitting this arrow and let's put this value at three, open up our spline and then we can make our zoom out. Control A, hit S to smooth out the keyframes and then make our curve something like this. And that is good. And now we're gonna do our middle zoom. And so remember, you need to sync it on frame 24 like this. That's where exactly where our marker is. Let's add another transform node and let's go three frames back. One, two, three, keyframe. And then let's go forward a bunch somewhere around here. We can keyframe and let's just zoom in the amount that we want. I usually do a value of over 0.2. So like if we have one, our value is at one, we need to go zoom in at 1.2 at the minimum just in order to see the movement. And and that it's recognizable. So we have, so we have that, we're gonna zoom to fit here. We're gonna control A, all our frames, and let's make another S graph just like this. And so right over 24 is gonna be the steepest part of our graph, hopefully, if we just adjust it correctly like that. And that should be good, something like that will work. Now we, if we look in, she, when she looks up, the spline graph will go like that. And then in order to finish our transition, we're gonna zoom out like this, add another transform node to keyframe at the end. Let's go five frames back, keyframe again, go back here, and then we could zoom out just like this. And then to go around here, as we don't want to show any motion tile and then adjust our spline graph like we've been doing just in this way and now we have our loop just like this and so if i play it back you can see now that is our fake zoom in and then out and that is how you do that if you want a smoother impact for your zoom right here all you have to do is bring this keyframe back and then realign where you want this to be and then also you could bring this down and so a little bit smoother like that otherwise you can keep it like this and it'll just zoom in much quicker but if you think that your zoom is too stiff try and moving your graph like this and making this overall line flatter that's right in the middle and the flatter the line the smoother movement we will have if you're interested in learning about how to make a twitch shake in davinci resolve click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day